Hi, I'm Carol Costanzo of charlottesvillesoul.com, and thank you for tuning in for the January market update. Let's get into this. I'm going to share my screen here, and we're going to start by talking about mortgage rates, what has been going on. In the past year, from January to December, mortgage rates went from 3.22% to 6.42%. That is the first time that mortgage rates have ever doubled in one year. And for 50 years, the U.S. mortgage rate has moved in unison with the 10-year Treasury yield, as you will see in this chart here. From 1972 to 2022, the average spread was 1.7 between the Treasury yield and your mortgage rate. So what has happened is between 2020, 21, at the 3.49 Treasury yield, adding the spread, that resulted in a 5.28% mortgage rate. We then today have 3.69 on the treasury yield and a mortgage rate of spread of 2.79. So it's resulting in mortgage rates of 6.48%. So if we were in normal times with the 1.79 spread, Today, we would be looking at an interest rate of 5.48%. So as you can see, we have a 1% difference. So when we look at the 2022 spread between the treasury yield and the mortgage rates, you're going to see this tracking from January through December. And if I put in a fair market line and reduce back this coloring, you'll see that it was increasing through August. And then in September, we had a pretty sharp increase until November. And now we are seeing a decrease again, back down to more normal rates, but we are still this 1% higher spread between the treasury yields and the mortgage rates. Lawrence Yoon, who is the chief economist for the National Association of Realtors, says that the upcoming months should see a return of buyers as mortgage rates appear to have already peaked and they have been coming down since mid-November. David Stevens, who's the former assistant secretary of housing, says, so be advised. This may be the one and only window for the next few years to get into a buyer's market. And remember, as the Federal Reserve data shows, home prices only go up and always recover from recessions, no matter how mild or severe. Long-term homeowners should view this market right now as a unique opportunity to buy. So now let's take a look at home pricing. Home price forecasts for 2023 are tracked over seven different companies. We've got an average going from up of 4.4%, to Zellman showing down 5.1%. But if you average all of these seven forecasts together, you get a 0.1% change in market value for home pricing in 2023. And when you look at this in terms of prices that have been reduced from May 2022 until November 2022, you're looking at just about a 1% price adjustment year over year. And the question is, have home values hit the bottom? And when we look at Case Chiller, FHFA, Black Knight, and CoreLogic, they are all showing no more 
than 1% in price changes for the four different indices. So we are definitely seeing the economists believing that pricing is going to hold stable for this next year. What goes on in the market? Last year, 4,090,000 houses sold. That is meaning over 11,000 houses sell every day. And if you divide that by the days and hours, you come out with eight houses selling every minute. So there is a very strong market. And I can tell you in our MLS in Charlottesville, every day we have sellers selling, buyers buying. So how is this happening? And there are different ways to get financing. Right now, we have people that are doing adjustable rate mortgages. They're marrying the house, but they are dating their mortgage, knowing that at some point they're going to refinance um, when rates come to what they want. The other option we have is buying down the rate. And that's something that the seller or a builder will help buy down your interest rate for a year or two. And Lori Goodman, Karen Call of Urban Land Institute says the risks of arms are substantially mitigated by the regulatory reforms put in place after the 2008 bust. Today's arms are not the risky products of 2008 or even the pre bubble version. Arms are no longer something to fear. In fact, they could help borrowers save money and reduce barriers to home ownership. Linda Hersey, who's the director of news reporting at Real Estate News, says temporary right buy downs are a hot trend for mortgages as borrowers face higher costs for home loans. Some buyers are exploring alternatives to traditional mortgages in a period of rising interest rates, and that is expected to continue into 2023. Buy-downs are a less costly alternative to traditional fixed-rate mortgages. And I would just like to say that there is a big opportunity for buying right now. I bought my first house in Charlottesville in 1986. And it was new construction. I closed it 18% interest. <laughs> the people that bought across the street from me 30 days later closed at 22%. And all of us refied when mortgages went down to 14 and then 10%. And we thought they would never come below 10%. But I want you to know that Every single one of us made money when we sold our houses. Every single one of us did very well. So um, that, that helped me understand that it is an opportunity when you buy real estate in America. So what is happening right now with active listings in 2021? There was a little over 400,000, and now we have about 750,000 houses on the market. Overall in Charlottesville, we have a market that is not got a lot of inventory. And I have been reaching out to people directly to find out if they're willing to sell, if it's a buyer that knows specifically what they want or where they want to be. And I've also had sellers that are willing to pay the buy down spreads and to help get people into the next chapter of life. So like I always say, give me a call, send me a text, direct message me, email me, go on my website. But let's get started in the next chapter of your life today because real estate is the number one way that people buy and make money. So let me help you.